Hey guys, how's it going again? It's roughly 3am, I got a haircut today, and we're going to check out the Legends of Runeterra Twitter to see what they can update us with today. Good ideas take time, great ideas all happen at once. Let's have a geese, shall we? This might be another no audio kind of thing. So we're going to see the Heimrittinger uh, landmark here. Okay, so this is a PNZ landmark card, the University of Piltover. Round start, discard your hand. Create three random cards in hand and grant them fleeting. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, man. More random cards. More random cards. Okay. Five mana landmark card. But you have to discard your hand so that this may start to create three random cards in hand and grant them fleeting. I can already tell a lot of people probably aren't going to be the most impressed with this card. But I guess we'll talk about it in terms of power level, okay? So, this can be maybe teched into some discard decks, such as discard aggro, which is the most popular at the moment. Alternatively, casino is a thing. But would you, in that deck, really want to discard your entire hand to start creating three random cards in hand and grant them fleeting? I don't necessarily think so. But this card can be some sort of weird cringe tech card for, like, I would see this most suitable in a discard aggro deck. I can't see, like, there is no true control PNZ deck, right? There is no, like, PNZ mostly deck. PNZ always splashes into other archetypes, so... The, the value of three random cards probably isn't actually that good. It can do some ridiculous swings that people aren't going to be happy with. But the downside is control decks... You don't really want to be discarding your hand, right? And this could be a win condition in itself because you're generating tons of value, right? But the problem is, a card like this with PNZ as a region does tend to struggle against aggro decks that just burn the face. So what other regions might you combine this with, I guess? Well, PNZ so far, personally, I don't know. Because I haven't seen PNZ be the main focus for a deck, as I said. Um, I've got not a lot to say about this card right now. We'll come back to it though. We'll see what the rest of the cards are. Okay, we have a Poro. 2 mana, 2-3. Two, Patch Poro bot. Ball in hand, I have a random keyword that changes each round. When I'm summoned, grant me this keyword. See, this is like... This is okay randomness. Alright, like this is an okay card in terms of random randomness. It can be potentially swinging in the game with that 1 out of 10, maybe lifesteal or elusive. But you do have to play it at the right time, and you can't just like, you're not going to get that much value out of the 2 mana card that sits in your hand forever. So I wonder what happens if we get like a random keyword like Last Breath. Is that even useful? Tough's pretty interesting. I think Patch Poro Bot is a fantastic way of dealing with randomness. So I don't mind this card, it actually seems kind of powerful. 2 mana 2 threes are useful. And this card's pretty cool. I think I like this card a lot. We have an Ionia card. 3 mana, 1-1, one, one, Elusive, Ephemeral. So this is not actually a card in the collection. For a moment then, I was a bit confused by how weak this card was. But as you can see, it is not from a collection because it has no uh, rarity. So I'm sure we'll see in a moment which card generates this card. Must be this one. Uh, 3 mana, zero, 3, Trevor Snooze Bottom. Fantastic name. Support, create an attacking Mumble Sprite with my supported ally's stats. So I guess if you're not supporting an ally, that's that's very interesting. I, I don't know how to comprehend this card. Traditionally, most of the epic cards that we see in Runeterra are pretty bad. This can not be very much played effectively on Curve. Although that might not be true. That's a very interesting card. So let's say you curve out, you play like a 1 mana 1-1. One, one. You play maybe a Witch on turn 2. Then you play this on turn 3 and support something. The fact that this is a 0-3 makes it very uh, awkward. This is a very suitable card for a Lulu deck though. It could be like an alternative play on turn 3. I don't see how this card works out when tempo is so important. Unless there's a way to like generate. Uh, multiple units on field at once. Uh, nope, Efi. <laughs> Fantastic name. Fast. Stop a fast or slow spell that costs three or less. Wow, that's a very cool card. 
That is a very cool card. So it's like deny right, but it's it's more catered. It's more catered towards certain spells. So it's filtered, which makes it quite cheap. Two mana. Stop a fast spell or slow spell that costs three or less. This is actually a pretty good card. This is the type of card that you might see teched into aggro decks from this region, right? Because a lot of the time, the early game is the most important. So if you can stop like your opponents make it rain or maybe they're... Well, that's pretty much it. How many effective cards are there that cost three or less? Maybe this card's not as good as it seems, but it's definitely an interesting card that can shake up some matchups and metas. I don't know how impactful it really will be though, but I can see like if a, if a meta ever settles, then somebody that has a rough idea of what decks are out there can go, all right, I see the value in this, but then we need Ionia to be somewhat of a competitive region. At the moment, we mostly see it in Lee Sin, right? And that should wrap up most of the cards. I can already see my Twitter blowing up with just rage about this card. I don't know how I feel about it. At first, when I first saw the Howling Abyss, honestly, I thought that card was okay because I didn't think they'd be printing many cards like this. And I thought it was a really good flavor and maybe like as, as a one-off cool thing. But with these cards here, I can see that the University of Piltover is bringing in a very similar taste in terms of how random the card is. Look, I'll, I'll still have faith in Rune Terror in Riot to like take the right path inevitably. I know that they prepare they prepare expansions quite far ahead, so maybe they were pretty committed to these certain cards before seeing how the community truly felt. But still, I will just clarify this card does seem pretty cool. At the moment, there's no true deck for it. However, I think Discard Aggro can take a couple of these in to be kind of obnoxious. But Discard Aggro does pretty well and just at just looking to get rid of Jinx. Like, you know, get Jinx on the field, get rid of the hand, flip it, and beat down with aggression. This card's kind of slow for that deck. Is there another PNZ deck out there that would want to play this though? Uh, random strategies. Random cards and grant them fleeting. They are fleeting. Okay. So here's here's the kicker. They are fleeting. And at every round start, you will discard your hand. So you're basically relying on pure RNG through the cards that you find. So I generally don't think this card is that powerful. However, it could be a pretty crazy tech card that in certain matchups, like let's say you build a deck like this card aggro, for example, and there's a certain matchup that you just don't win. Well, now you can consider taking one of these in the deck so that you may play it and rely on a different win condition that is random value. I don't think the card's too nuts, but it does seem like a very fun card, not gonna lie. But in terms of a competitive environment, this is probably cards we would like to see a lot less of. Anyway guys, you have a fantastic today, uh, day, we'll see you tomorrow.